Hey everyone, this is Gio here, and today I'm doing a uh, hardware review for this thing, the Analog DAC. So I'll be covering uh, what it is, what it does, um, how well it works, and at the end I'll kind of briefly go over who I think it's for and uh, who I would recommend it for. So uh, let's get started. The DAC is a digital to audio converter for the Super NT and Mega SG consoles from Analog. Analog is a company that produces high quality modern retro consoles that use FPGA technology. The Super NT is a modern Super Nintendo, while the Mega SG is a modern Sega Genesis. The DAC allows you to play both consoles on a CRT television or monitor. Why do we need this? Some people want to enjoy their newer analog consoles on a CRT for a more authentic retro experience. It also opens up the use of light guns. The analog deck is packaged in a black minimalist box with a nice metallic font. This falls in line with the other analog products I have ordered in the past. On the back of the box there is a handy blueprint of the deck. Inside you are greeted with the deck in a plastic film cover over the top. Underneath is a plastic tray covering a USB power data transfer cable with nice gray tips. Under that is a brief instruction brochure. The deck is made in China but the plastic is thick and hefty. It feels durable and weighty in my hands. I did however notice a slight click when squeezing the case with some pressure. The case is nice and clear so you can see the board with all the chips. The board is clean and elegant with uniform soldering all throughout. The input seems sturdy as well. Overall, it looks and feels well made. The main purpose of the DAC is to convert the digital signal from the Mega SG and Super NT to an analog signal that can be used on an old CRT television and monitor. Unfortunately, it does not come with a power cable. Analog expects you to use the USB power cable from your Mega SG or Super NT. However, it will work with any 5 volt 3 amp micro USB uh, power supply. There is a VGA output which requires an HD15 to component cable, so you want to order that ahead of time. There are also two audio outputs for left and right RCA audio cables. On the side, there is a switch for PAL and NTSC compatibility. As far as connecting to your console, there is a USB-A port which you can use uh, the included cable to connect to your console and an HDMI input as well. Next up, I'm going to go through a bunch of different demonstrations using the analog DAC for both the Super NT and the Mega SG. In order to make these demonstrations as useful as possible, I decided to record my CRT screen directly and have a small stream of the video output below. That way you can see how it looks on the CRT as well as the output from the analog DAC.
So who exactly is this for? Well, for one, it's for people like me who just love tinkering with new technology. It's also for people who want to enjoy their new analog systems on a CRT for a more authentic experience. Finally, it's for people that want to get the most out of their analog systems by enabling the use of light guns. In conclusion, this device does do what it's set out to do with some hiccups. As you saw from my demonstrations, light guns simply do not work with my Mega SG. I don't know if I'm just unlucky or everyone else has this problem, but I reached out to Analog and they told me that they're forwarding this to their engineers and I'm still waiting a response. I fully expect a firmware fix for the Mega SG, so I'm not too worried about that. And I will post an update video when it's resolved. The good news is it does work fine with the Super NT. So who can I re recommend this device to? Currently, I could only recommend it to someone who only has a Super NT and has a working CRT television, but does not have the original hardware. At the end of the day, the original hardware is much cheaper and easier to use on a CRT and is not easily replaced. If I could offer one wish to make this thing uh, better overall, it would be to open it up to all consoles and devices. I would love the ability to use it with other consoles, like let's say my Nintendo Switch or Xbox 360. Thanks everyone for watching. What do you think about the analog deck? Is it worth it compared to the original hardware? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all next time.